In the end, it seems that the simple way to use geometry nodes is to understand vectors and use them well. The concept of vector is difficult for me, who is not good at math, but the more I learn about it, the more interesting and interesting it becomes. In this video, we will see how to edit the default cube using vector nodes. First, we want to elongate this cube only along the x-axis. Since we want to edit the cube's vertices, we need a set position node. In the previous video, we confirmed that the size can be adjusted with the scale mode of vector math. Blender asks what the scale is. It tells you that it is the vector scale of the position. The overall scaling is relatively concise, but since we want the scaling limited to the x-axis, we add a separate xyz node. Here, if you connect to the position socket of the set position node, it disappears. Change the connection to an offset socket. If anyone knows the reason for this, please comment. If you add a combined XYZ node, you can only resize it along the X axis. I thought it was a bit unnecessary to use two nodes here, so I looked for an alternative. It can be replaced with the vector curves node. It is a bit inconvenient to adjust the node instead of reducing it. By adding another vector math node, you can change the multiply mode by limiting the x axis scale. By adding a vector rotate node, a separate XYZ node, a combine XCY node, and a math node, you can additionally implement a bending effect. If you deepen your understanding of vector nodes, Modeling with geometry nodes would be really fun. It is said that a vector is a physical quantity that has magnitude and direction, but we need to study more. Since force, momentum, and speed are all vectors, it is a concept very closely related to life. This video ends here. Thank you.